sorry for the shaky quality of the video. I'm not using my gimbal. Just checking out how cool these decorations are. And they barricade the street over there. This is Greenleaf. So you have the, there's a barbecue station over there, the massage spa, the chillin' boba tea place right here, which is pretty good, but also pretty expensive. And then the uh, Whittier Village Cinemas, which is open, you can see movies. And then there's the Seasons at Hoover, which is a hotel. Been here for a long time. Looks like a six-story hotel. It's kind of expensive because it's a nice place. Old. But it's a hotel. Street performers. Guitar amp repair. Um, the um, Browns Jewelry and Loan. Basically pawn shop. Been there a long, long time. They've always had good stuff. I don't know how it is now, but they've always had good stuff in the past and there's the Havana house world famous well I don't know about world famous but we'll just say famous you can kick it outside or in or inside it's cigars beer entertainment sometimes they have a, a DJ um, but uh, It's been there a long time. Back in the days, years ago, I used to hang out there. But it's been a long time. Flashback Lounge and Grill is kind of new. People are waiting in line to get inside. And it looks like it's a fun spot. Good food and all that kind of thing. And Turnbull's Tavern also looks like a cool spot. And then Poet, Poet Gardens to my right. And then to my left is a pho place. To my right is Poet Gardens. That's Poet Gardens. That's the pho place. And sushi, by the way. I've eaten there before. Good sushi. You can get some good stuff there. <laughs> and uh, the Nixon Plaza named after Richard Milhouse Nixon who used to he's from he's from Whittier so he basically uh, is probably one of the most prominent people known to be from Whittier so that's this building is named after him the Nixon Plaza I don't know there's I don't know what they use it for now but it's a historical landmark. Looks like some kind of events going on inside of it. There's a Starbucks. I'm on Greenleaf, like I said, Uptown Whittier, the 7,000 block. And uh, they barricade the streets, as you can see, so that there's only cross traffic going this way. There's no through traffic. So it's all restaurants and foot traffic, like a city walk type of thing. And there's a whole bunch more restaurants up there. A lot of outdoor and indoor dining. And so, as you see, road closed. It's just, people are out it's socializing. It's May 14th, Friday night. I worked all week. I work Monday through Friday. And then I'm supposed to meet up with a friend of mine that I went to uh, middle school with. We've known each other since like 7th or 8th grade. I can't remember. I think 8th grade. And so we were working out together. But he, because of his crazy schedule, he can't make it to the gym that I go to. So he joined another gym locally by his house. But he still works out. We're, we're like committed to this thing. Just to be fit in our older ages. And... Uh, I don't know the name of this place, but I think it's an oyster bar. We were, we were going to eat here last time, but we didn't. We decided to go somewhere else. Matter of fact, this is the place we went to. It's called 
Costa's. It's a seafood place also. Probably owned by Chris Costa. Actually, I don't, I don't know who owns it, but it's a nice place. The food was good. The vodka was good. <laughs> so you can see right there, it's called Costa. And then there's this place, which is uh, French, I believe. It has a French sounding bunch of names on the outside of it. And it's outdoor dining and indoor. Everything is now outdoor, indoor. And then you can go up that way too. And there's another barricade and then more restaurants. It kind of gets a little boring up there. There's some more shops and stuff. Uh, everything else is closed. Like the businesses that aren't serving food and drinks are closed. Those are just your regular everyday, like beauty salons and um, other like little shops like where they sell stuff. So, um, you have mimosa brunch. That's pretty cool. And just a bunch of different things. <clears throat> so, it looks cool. And then this place, Rocky Cola Cafe. It's been here a long time. It's fun. Kind of like a, more of a teenage hangout or maybe older person's hangout. But it's just, good. it's like 50s diner type food. You know, hamburgers and french fries and malteds and coke. Um, you know, Rubens and stuff like that. Just sandwiches. Nothing healthy really, but fun. Fun little spot if you just want to hang out. Rocky Cola Cafe. So, I'm going to walk a little bit more. And give you guys one more pass. Here's the sushi place again. Outdoor seating. And indoor. And then after that, I'm going to... I'm gonna cut the video, but for right now, I'm gonna give you guys, this is Steve's barbecue. And uh, this is Turnbull's again, there's a line. It's open, of course. So the game is on, you can watch the Dodgers play, and then the flashbacks, lounge grill, and there's a line to get in. So, you know, here we are back at Havana House here to, the, to my left. And there's a lot of people out there. They have a lot of space. They have a big, they have a big uh, little s section of of land. So if you want to go hang out and get a cigar, and then the La Chivas, tacos and tortas and stuff. And again, the street performer and the jewelry store and a pawn shop. So and we're back over to the movie theater and then the Hoover se seasons at the Hoover or whatever some people are wearing the masks some people aren't it doesn't matter a lot of people are getting the vaccine some people are not it's up to you I think they're offering it for free I'm not sure which one the Pfizer or the this or the that I don't know and there's the Bobo joint Boba's was fun, but it's expensive. And then I like the way that they, uh, the boba joint, decorated. It's pretty cool. I wanted to use my gimbal. I just um, was supposed to meet up with my friend, so <clears throat> I did not bring my gimbal out. So if this is shaky, I apologize, because I'm trying not to shake it. I'm not sure who's playing, honestly, because I was working all day, so I don't know if it's the Dodgers or... Looks like uh, the WNBA, the LA Sparks are playing right there. And this place looks nice. It's a Mexican place. And they have it all decorated outside, and they have some nice drinks. Cinco de Mayo, Cinco Cinco. So that was... A really <laughs> a little photo bomb. <laughs> You'll be on YouTube, bro. <laughs> that was my um, my quick tour of Uptown Uptown Whittier on a Friday night, 
and uh, there's off the coffee bean and tea leaf. They look like they're closed. Oh, no, there's somebody. Oh, yeah, they look like they're closed. But that's the beginning. This is the beginning of the, on Wardman Street is the crossway. You see it's closed off. So Wardman uh, on the east and west and the north and south, Greenleaf. So there's Uptown Whittier. I still have some property for sale if you want to buy some and start a business. And then you see the Wells Fargo, which is on Wardman and Greenleaf. And I parked for free right over there. So that's where I'm headed back to my car because I've been here now for uh, going on like, I don't know, maybe 37, 38 minutes, almost 40 minutes. And so Peter's not here yet. So I was like, you know what? 40 minutes is a long time. So I'm going to go hang out with my neighbors and just watch a movie. We're, gonna, we're supposed to watch a scary movie or something like that. And <laughs> and that's it. And then so... How about $2? Okay. Not, not $1. $2. Have a go one. Go Dodgers. <sighs> Love people. Love people. And then there is Wells Fargo ATM. And that is a like a local church. It's called Destiny Community Church. Whittier's got a lot of churches. It's kind of a religious city. Small town. Um, Whittier's a lot safer than L.A., generally speaking. A lot less crowded than L.A., generally speaking. A lot slower pace than L.A., generally speaking. And that's why I like it, generally speaking. So, we're walking towards... Uh, my car where I parked you can park along here for free as you see free parking all angled you know angled parking and this is where I parked right here silver 2000 CLK Mercedes and then that place on Penn is called Rick's it's a burger joint been there for a long time well known there's another one over by Dodger Stadium and so here I am I'm gonna open up the door and get in and I'm out. Thank you guys for watching. Staff Sergeant Calhoun from Uptown Whittier. About to start the car and go. Much love to you guys. That new battery, I just got a new battery. <laughs> Cost me a grip. Um, gosh. It was like... Um, a hundred and 130 bucks before tax but i needed it so i got it all right thanks for watching everybody i gotta put my seatbelt on and uh all up staff sergeant calhoun from uptown whittier hope you enjoyed that tour of uptown whittier out